Hey guys, Josh coming to you with another Barefoot Shoe Review. One of my favorite shoe companies out there, and even more so now, I think. So we're going to get into why here in a second. But before we do the review, hit like, hit subscribe, hit the notification bell. Boom, boom, boom. So that you catch my videos when they come out and they're hot. Okay, so do that. Also, you're going to want to follow me on Instagram at Barefoot Shoe Josh because you get more detailed reviews there than what I do here. Plus some cool pics of Barefoot Shoes on your Instagram feed. All right, so let's get into the review here. Today we're talking Origo Shoes, one of my favorite shoe companies. I've done some other reviews on them. Check them out on the channel if you're interested. Um, I've done some kids' shoes. I've done some other shoes that I like to wear. And uh, they did, I did the retro sneaker. I did the Gen 2 everyday sneaker. Speaking of everyday sneaker, that's what we're doing today. They've done the Gen 1, the Gen 2, which I reviewed before. And now we got the Generation 3. They've made even more improvements to the shoe. And one of which I'm super excited about because of my feet. But uh, anyway, so they, uh, let me just show you the shoe real quick and quit running my mouth for a second. I just pulled it out of the box here. It came in a nice little bag in a box. Uh, just a classic tennis shoe. They have, um, you know, I, I opted for this classic white kind of tennis vibe because my other white barefoot tennis shoes that I had, uh, we're a little bit more at the narrower end of the barefoot spectrum and you know, they're a little stiffer than I want them to be uh, So I'm I, I just want to was excited about something new. I, they Graciously offered to send me a pair of these to review and I'm like give me the white classic leather uh, Tennies that go with everything. I wear these with jeans. I could wear these with shorts I can you know do whatever man just rock them and um, they come with little flashes of color. There's like green and there's a red one and a couple other ones. But besides the plain white, they also have uh, blue, uh, gray. Oh man, don't give me a line about the colors. Black, I know there's, there's some other colors there. And not only do they have the slick leather like this, check it out, but they also, the other option is the cotton canvas. That's where some of those other colors are, the, the red and the blue. And uh, I, 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 I'm, when they offered to send me these, they didn't have those canvas ones. Or I probably would have gravitated to those colors, even though I do need a classic white tenny because uh, those look so sick. Um, so I'll probably just grab a pair of those on my own. But anyways, what what can I tell you about Orgo Shoes? If you don't know Orgo Shoes, I'll tell you more on my other video. But, you know, it's a couple, Christina and Diego, and they, they live in Texas. They run this company out of Texas. They do some manufacturing on the Mexico side of the border, but they do all the shipping and run the company out of Texas. And um, they started this company because of, you know, their kids had shoe things when they were little and they're just like wanting to make healthy shoes. And, and here we are with a company now. So um, awesome family run company out of Texas. Well worth your support. They do everything a little higher quality, a little special touch. There's, there's just little things you'll see on their shoes, on their boxes, on their bags, all the little things they do that let you know they put a little extra care and a little extra love into everything they do, which to me speaks volumes. It's the little things, guys. It's the little things. But um, so for those of you that don't know Orgo shoes, all the barefoot shoe stuff is intact there. Zero drop, perfectly flat surface to stand on. Uh, from heel to toe, no toe springs, no heels of any kind. On the inside, along that line, let me get this paper out of here. Um, you've got no arch support, so it's a perfectly flat surface there. Your arches are great the way they are. You know, you want to build that strength, maintain that strength in your arches by not having support under there, uh, so that you don't one day need arch support because now you've developed that strength over life. Uh, beyond the zero drop and the no arch supports, you've got an anatomic foot shape, which means a shoe actually shaped like a human foot imagine that and um so there's that and you've also got flexibility and ground feel on the topic of the soles we already talked to the zero drop and all that stuff but uh so barefoot shoes on the whole are flexible and have better ground feel than your average shoes look you can't you know normally do this with the soles of like your conventional brands right and you can roll this guy i don't want to crumple them too much they're nice slick leather but uh, for you guys, you know, what, what am I going to do? I can't, how, how am I not going to show you the test? So uh, we got our twisty tests. And then why, why is all that important? Are you really going to roll up your foot? No, but here, you know, your foot can do whatever your foot's going to need to do. You guys like the wavy test. I keep getting uh, comments about the wavy test. <laughs> so there's your wavy test. Okay, but your foot can do whatever it needs to do. These are like a sporty, athletic, casual, 
classic. I mean, I might even actually play tennis in this. It's not, it's a tennis shoe. I don't play tennis, but man, you could with these. You could probably go do some parkour or do some, uh, play some basketball. I don't know. I'm not that kind of sports guy. I'm a surfing, skating, whatever guy. And I'm not about to ruin these with my skateboard and doing all these and ripping them all up. So these are for me. I'm going to rock these with shorts. I'm going to rock these with jeans. I'm going to wear these with whatever because they're just classic. Go with anything. I opted for the green flash of color there on the back because, you know, green's my favorite color. But what are you going to do? Boom. Um, what else do we need to know? The price. Oh, the, let's go into the changes that they made on the Gen 3. Okay, so I'm going to start from, from the lower end. On the inside, the front half of the shoe, on the inside, they put a textile material. It used to just be the, the leather, which, you know, leather is a little stiff, a little whatever. Uh, and, and barefoot shoes, obviously, you know, I sometimes, most of the time, wear socks. But sometimes I do just go barefoot uh, inside these shoes. And it's nice to know now. I, I can't wait to try them on my feet. But they put a textile in here. Just, oh man, I can feel it with my finger. Uh, it's a little softer, a little nicer on your little toesies. Like who, uh, why would you not want that if you're going to rock them barefoot, right? So that's the first change. Textile on the inside. Secondly, volume in the toe box area is a little bit less. It's not so tall from top to bottom. Uh, they got a lot of feedback from customers and affiliates that uh, they were getting feedback about that volume being a little too big, too tall, um, which, you know, I guess there's some ultra high volume toes people, you know, that that might bother. But most people, this is going to be a better fit. Um, but my favorite change that they made to these, check it out, guys, four millimeters wider than they used to be. Now, if you just saw my video I did recently uh, about one of the biggest questions I always get, what are the widest barefoot shoes out there? I did a video on the 10 widest barefoot shoes, 10 or so <laughs> widest barefoot shoes. The old Orgo generation two made the list. Uh, it was toward the bottom of the list of the widest, but it was in there. And now with this four millimeters wider, this would bump them up that list. I wish I had got this shoe a couple months ago before I made that video. They'd probably be sitting around number I don't know, four or five, right in there, three maybe even, I'm not sure. But uh, four millimeters wider, oh, dude, I'm into it because I've been barefooting for 10 plus years. My feet have spread out nice. I have really wide feet. So I'm looking forward to trying these on my feet. I guarantee you I'm going to like these even better than the Generation 2. I'm going to try them on my feet here in just a minute, uh, do a little dance, make a little love, get down tonight, you know, do -si do and all that stuff so you can see what they look like on a human foot. And But there you go. Here's the soles. Uh, so those of you that want to look at that. It's not super like hikey type of grippy. It's just kind of like, you know, casual athletic wear, right? Super cool. Uh, what else? The price. Okay. The leather ones are 105. If you use my discount code or go Josh, you'll get them for around 95, give or take. It's 10% off. So, uh, and then the canvas ones, if you go for the cotton canvas, those are $87. Use my discount code or go Josh, you'll get them for right around 79 bucks, give or take. So, 79 bucks or 95 bucks if you use my code. Boom. That's that. Check it out. I'm going to try them on my feet uh, so you can see how you like them. And I'll talk to you in a minute. Okay, so what's the final word? What's the final analysis? I just tried them on, cruised around outside for a while. Love them. Um, believe it or not, my little bare feet, I didn't wear socks with them. I could actually feel the difference of that textile material around the inside. Super soft and comfy. The extra width, I can't say enough. You guys know I have extra wide feet. Man, makes all the difference in the world with these shoes. I love these. Much, much better for me anyways than the Gen 2 and the Gen 1, obviously. Um, very nice, very comfortable. 
uh, the, the volume difference that they said on this Gen 3. Didn't notice it one bit. My toes were perfectly comfortable, had plenty of room. And uh, boom, get yourself some. Use the information down below. Catch you on the next go around. See ya.